My younger brother is actually a rock star in Sweden. Now, I've, now, now I can sense how he feels going up. I mean, he has pr probably a little more enthusiastic audience, but uh, nevertheless. So I'm Philip. Uh, I am um, the CEO and co-founder of Avito, declassified in Russia. And today I, um, I read in, this is first my, my first time in NOAA, I understand the theme is change. And um, we didn't break Russia, but Russia didn't break us either, uh, which is good. And I'm going to talk about some of the changes we've done over the years. And I think the first major change we did in Avita was that when Jonas and I, a couple of wives and three children moved from the kingdom of Sweden to Moscow. Big change, but crucial change. Then in 2009, um, although we... Like yeah. this? <laughs> Otherwise, your beard is talking to us. Okay. Well, there's no beard. <laughs> is it better? Okay. Can you hear me? No. no? Can you hear me now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, in 2009, we felt that we didn't get the traction we wanted. People were using Avito, but still it was like, uh, it was not getting there. Uh, and uh, this was also coinciding with... Uh, a large economic crisis in the country, and we felt that, shit, we need to do something to get this to work. And we really sat down and said, so what is Avito all about? What are we providing our users with? We're actually solving people's problem with used goods. And that's the essence of what we're doing. So if you take Olga in Moscow, and, you sh if, and she's gonna sell her guitar, that's a problem for her. She doesn't know where to sell it. We wanted it, her to sell it on Avito. But the thing is, if Olga goes to Avito and posts her guitar, and there are no guitar buyers on Avito, she will not sell her guitar. And then she will never come back. And how do you solve the problem of this hen and egg situation? I think we did it. Uh, it took one year. We spent 2009 just building liquidity in every category in Moscow and St. Petersburg. We only focused on those, these two cities. Then towards the end of 2009, we felt that it's working. People are actually selling their stuff on Avito. Now it's the time to go all in. So we did, I mean, we were spamming Moscow and St. Petersburg with TV advertisement. I mean, you couldn't miss it. And from literally overnight, Avito K went from no one to something. It was amazing. And, and just to put uh, figures on that, we had 30 million page views in December 2009. In January, we started our campaign January 10th. In January, we had 120 million page views. In February, we had 190 million page views. And the cool thing is, this has just continued. We just added cities and categories. And it was not until beginning of 2012 where we actually started to do national TV advertisement, but still based on the simple concept of liquidity. Another change uh, that came early on is that Jonas and I have always been obsessed by building a great company. Uh, and in our opinion, a great company makes great money. And contrary to, I think, what... Uh, Many people believe in, uh, not only in the classified industry, but in the in internet industry, that you should not monetize. You will destroy user uh, experience, etc., etc. But we, we didn't believe that. So we were pretty aggressive on uh, implementing different monetization schemes early on. And I think that, I I'd even dare to say, shouldn't we have done that? Avito would have been a much, much, much worse company than it is today. I think it's beneficial for our users, our sellers, our employees, that we actually have such keen focus on, on making money. It, it's, 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 part of, it's part of our DNA. And I, I usually tell our, uh, our first sales guy, he's called Albert, I always tell him, no money, no funny. And it's like a mantra for him. <laughs> um, third uh, or fourth, I think, major change is that we realized very early on that this, this could be big. Uh, and we, although we were 12 people and we thought that, you know, maybe 12 people or 20 people would be enough, Philip we wanted to scale. And we have uh, today here, Dima, stand up. 
are, this is Kaiser Sose of Avito. He's omnipresent everywhere. And um, he started in Avito when he was uh, in his low uh, 20s. And when you go to a person like Dima and you say that you need to recruit, 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 and a person like Dima goes, I will fix it. Trust me, I will fix it. I don't need to recruit any people. And this is a few years ago. And two days ago, we had budget reviews. Uh, and Dima uh, says that. So I said, Dima, now you're 70 people. You're going to be 180 people next year. How are you going to manage this? How are you going to do inboarding, etc., etc.? I said, Philip, trust me. End of discussion. I love that. And what I want to say with this is that I think when you're growing so fast as we've done, either you recruit in leaders, which I think is actually very, very damaging, or you allow your key employees to become leaders. And this is you know, the thing that uh, gives me goosebumps to see how all of these young people have turned into be excellent leaders. Hmm. So I think uh, with all due respect, Marco, change, I think it's a little bit of a silly concept because I think we work in a constant change. Uh, and these were just you know, a few examples. What I think over time in Avito, uh, during all change, commitment is one thing. Never lose the eyesight of what we're doing. Going back to Olga and the guitar. If she's not selling the guitar, we're dead. Once you figure out what to do, go all in. And lastly, I see I have one more minute to go. Uh, just some words on, on Avito. We are the absolute dominating or market leading classified in Russia in all verticals. That's auto, real estate, jobs, services. Every day it's used by millions of people. Every day we get over half a million items listed. That means, for instance, 1.9 dogs every minute. We sell 40% of all used cars in Russia. That means that we sell 6,000 cars every day. Um, and those 180 million page views that we had in, in February 2010 has now grown to be 275 million page views per day. And about 35% of that comes from mobile. And the cool thing is that we just started. That's all for me. Thanks.